First off, I just want to say that tonight is another episode of Dynamite, and if it is any indication, if last week was any indication, it might have been something with the Kia Forum, it may have been something else, but the fact of the matter is, it was a very rousing episode of uh, Dynamite, and in my opinion, one of the best episodes we've seen in the last couple of weeks. And if this is any indication for what we have to expect for the future, as we lead up to Revolution in March, AEW is going to have a ton of momentum going forward. But we have conversa a conversation set to look forward to with uh, Adam Page and Renee Paquette set for this episode of Dynamite. And also on this episode of Dynamite is... The Young Bucks against the Young Bucks against Top Flight, which should be an incredible matchup. And actually, this is the Young Bucks' first opportunity in in tag team action since returning to the company after the brawl out from the fallout at All Out. So that is something else to be noted. And I believe, from what I remember seeing, Willow Nightingale will be in action also tonight as Willow, well, as Willow, you figured, may have been uh, a little shaken up after what happened last week with her and Anna Jay, as Anna Jay may have taken the brunt of it, but also you got to figure that it didn't hurt. It didn't help Willow either. Even if it did hurt Anna Jay a little bit, uh, you know, more. Darby Allen sets it, is set to defend. That's what I remember. Darby Allen and Kushida tonight on it on Dynamite. So not only will we see uh, Kushida versus Darby Allen, but also the Young Bucks versus Top Flight. So that is two fantastic matches set for Dynamite tonight. And not only that, but also Brian Danielson versus Bandito. So you have three fantastic matches: Jake Hager versus Jake Hager versus Ricky Starks, Orange Cassidy defending his All Atlantic Championship against Jay Lethal. Willow Nightingale against Tony Storm. It is going to be an incredible episode of Dynamite tonight. So if you're not looking, if you got stuff, if you got nothing going on, and you're looking for professional wrestling to to take put, uh, bleh. if you are looking for professional wrestling tonight, Dynamite takes place tonight at on TBS live from Fresno, the Save Mart Center in Fresno, California. It is going to be an a can't miss episode of AEW's premiere program or television program. Speaking of premiere programming, it is premiere programming in my opinion anytime we see Hiroshi Tanahashi as Tanahashi is one of the many names that have become legends within the ranks of the wrestling business outside of premiere major American companies as he has spent his entire career with New Japan Pro Wrestling, the 46-year-old has made quite a career for himself as an eight-time IWGP World Champion and a legend in the wrestling business. At this point, it is unclear if he would ever go anywhere else, but we know for certain now that, that, that we will not have to find that out as Tanahashi officially re-signed with New Japan Pro Wrestling to continue his long tenure with the premier pro wrestling company in Japan. Also, Logan Paul, and a Logan Paul update as WWE is looking to bring back Logan Paul very soon, hopefully at the Royal Rumble, or they're hoping for the Royal Rumble, but it really depends on his uh, recovery from the MCL injury that he sustained back at Crown Jewel. So we'll keep you updated, updated on that. Also, 
a little bit of clarity, it seems to be that the point in which WWE, uh, the position WWE is taking with John Cena is that John Cena will be back for WrestleMania and going against Austin Theory that they will be going going they will be taking their shot and going with the position of Austin Theory versus John Cena at WrestleMania which should be an interesting turn of events for Austin Theory and I just want to put it out there now I am I didn't want to elaborate on the information and I just wanted to make a quick point here because I didn't want to cry again. But I I would like to offer my deepest prayers to Jay Briscoe's daughters and also Jay's wife uh, as well as Mark Briscoe who is actually celebrating his birthday today. It is an unreal turn of events. It is an unreal moment and... You know, just know you got a lot of people, a lot of people rooting for you. You got a lot of people behind you. You got a lot of people hoping for the best and wishing nothing but the best. But I want to send my deepest prayers and condolences to Jay and his family and, you know, nothing but positive thoughts and prayers to, you know, his, his daughters and his wife and of course, Mark. Um, also, looking forward to the remainder of the week, we will do our normal preview for uh, Rampage. And um, I will keep you up to date on anything and everything that happens in the world of professional wrestling, or I will at least try my best to do so. With that being said, though, I will see you in the next video.